Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Have you ever wondered why stubborn itching and shedding linger no matter which soothing shampoo you try? Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today you'll discover how the microscopic community living on your scalp decides whether you enjoy vibrant, comfortable hair or an endless frustrating battle with flakes and irritation. Thank you, Ethan. I'm Alara Skye, here to translate emerging research into practical steps you can follow. Your scalp hosts a crowded neighborhood of bacteria, fungi, and even tiny viruses, all interacting every hour to guard your follicles, calm inflammation, and maintain strong strands. When that neighborhood thrives, your scalp feels balanced and your confidence climbs. Many people assume microbes behave the same everywhere on your skin, yet the scalp is special. It's dominated by only two primary bacterial residents, Cutobacterium acnes and Staphylococcus epidermidis, whereas other body sites boast dozens of species. Why would nature limit diversity on such a critical surface? And what advantages does this streamlined lineup offer you? A focused roster can operate with military efficiency. Cutobacterium and Staphylococcus secrete antimicrobial peptides, occupy prime real estate near follicle openings, and signal your immune defenses to stay on alert. Together they crowd out invaders, recycle sebum into protective molecules, and keep inflammatory messengers from surging. In short, they work around the clock so you don't have to scratch. Trouble begins when that clockwork stutters. Dysbiosis an imbalance in microbial populations can creep in gradually. Before visible flakes appear, you might notice subtle changes. Your scalp tingles after showering, hair turns greasy sooner, or a tight, dry feeling spreads across the crown. How do these early signals warn you that protective microbes are losing ground? Those sensations mean harmful organisms are seizing territory, flaking, persistent itch, unexpected oiliness or dryness, and increased shedding all point to inflammation around follicle roots. Swollen tissue restricts nutrient flow, weakens the emerging shaft, and invites oxidative damage. Left unchecked, that chain reaction thins hair and hardens the cycle of irritation. Researchers have mapped several catalysts behind dysbiosis. Excess sebum often tops the list, yet factors as diverse as hair density, genetics, and local climate each tilt the balance. Could you walk listeners through how these variables amplify or dampen microbial harmony on their heads? Absolutely. Your scalp contains more sebaceous glands than nearly any other skin, so oil-loving Malassezia fungi thrive. Thick hair creates a cozy greenhouse, trapping humidity that accelerates fungal expansion. Genetic blueprints shape follicle depth and natural pH, nudging microbial populations toward balance or turmoil. Add a hot, humid summer and you multiply every advantage for irritants. Daily behavior piles on top of biology. Some listeners scrub vigorously each morning, others postpone washing for days. Shampoo ingredients vary from gentle botanicals to industrial strength surfactants. How do these routine choices either nurture your microbial allies or unintentionally sabotage them? Washing every day, especially with high alkaline cleansers, strips sebum and physically washes away beneficial bacteria. Fragrances, Sulfates and preservatives break down the skin's lipid shield, exposing fresh territory to opportunistic fungi. Conversely, skipping washing for long stretches lets sweat, dead skin, and pollutants accumulate. Another banquet for disruptive microbes. Consistency and moderation serve you best. Beyond the bathroom, lifestyle decisions exert enormous pull. Processed meals, sustained stress, and hormonal shifts can silently rewrite the script atop your head. Explain how what you eat, how you cope, and even natural life stages like puberty or menopause recalibrate the scalp ecosystem. Refined sugars and alcohol feed microbes that spur inflammation, whereas prebiotic fibers in onions, garlic, and asparagus nourish communal diversity. Fermented foods deliver live probiotic strains that may migrate from gut to skin. Chronic stress lowers immune vigilance, granting irritants a foothold. During hormonal surges, sebum chemistry changes, creating brand new niches where fungi flourish. Dandruff showcases this tug of war. 
A recent study compared microbiomes of healthy and flake-prone scalps. Investigators swabbed participants, sequenced microbial DNA, and measured lipid oxidation. What contrasts stood out most clearly? Healthy volunteers exhibited broad microbial diversity and higher counts of protective Staphylococcus epidermidis and Cutobacterium acnes. Dandruff sufferers, by contrast, were overrun with Malassezia restricta and Malassezia globosa, species that inflame skin and accelerate cell shedding. Researchers also found faster oxidation of scalp lipids in the dandruff group, releasing byproducts that itch and redden. Those chemical shifts clarify why medicated shampoos, though useful short-term, rarely deliver lasting peace. They slash fungus but obliterate friendly bacteria, lowering diversity even further. When treatment stops, fungi bounce back stronger than before. How does restoring beneficial microbes break that exhausting cycle? Reseeding friendly bacteria reestablishes natural checks and balances. Protective species outcompete fungi for nutrients, secrete their own antifungals, and calm immune alarms. Instead of chasing symptoms with harsh cleansers, you rebuild the ecosystem so it polices itself. Long term comfort stems from cooperation, not carpet bombing. Let's translate that principle into specific steps. Listeners can begin tonight. What evidence-based actions anchor a microbiome first scalp routine? Step one, replace aggressive cleansers with microbiome-friendly formulas labeled pH balanced between 4.5 and 5.5 or marked microbiome safe. Step two, restrict washing to two or three times weekly, allowing natural oils to nourish protective bacteria. Step three, rinse with lukewarm water since hot streams strip lipids and intensify inflammation. Step four moves beyond the shower. Support your scalp from within by adding one serving of prebiotic vegetables and one fermented food to each meal. Onions, garlic, asparagus, sauerkraut, and kefir are effortless starters. As those nutrients travel through your gut, they generate postbiotic compounds, short-chain fatty acids, that lower inflammation on every inch of your skin. Finally, keep an eye on your stress load. Research shows elevated stress weakens immune vigilance and disrupts microbial stability. Pair calmer daily rhythms with gentle hair care and nourishing foods, and you create an environment where beneficial microbes flourish while irritants struggle. Here's your seven-day challenge. Swap your current shampoo for a microbiome-friendly option, wash only three times, dial down the water temperature, and include both prebiotic fiber and a fermented food at every meal. Track how your scalp feels, how quickly hair becomes oily, and whether flakes diminish. Your own observations will confirm the power of microbial balance. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.